The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So remember when on the free response we're asked to simplify a difference quotient. So you're given the formula, and this is really just a matter of plugging in correctly. So we have that f of x is equal to 1 over x squared, and we're asked to find this following difference quotient. f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 all over h. So all we need to do here is plug in these numbers for x in these formulas. So if f of x is 1 over x squared, f of 2 plus h will be 1 over 2 plus h squared. So all I did there was take the 2 plus h and put it in for the x. Similarly here, we'll just put in the, t the 2, and we have that all over h. So if we expand this, or actually, let's not expand this just because we're going to need to find a common denominator, and when you're doing that, leaving things factored is always easier. But this uh, 1 over 2 squared we can just say as 1 fourth. So to combine these two fractions, we need to get a common denominator, which and these have nothing in common, so we'll just have to multiply them. So we'll get 4 minus 2 plus h squared all over 4 times 2 plus h squared all over h. So this one needed a 4, this one needed a 2 plus h squared, so we subtract them. Now we want to try to simplify this. So this can be combined once this is expanded since we have a subtraction sign in front of that. So we want to expand this part here and we'll get 4 plus 4h plus h squared. That's all over 4 times 2 plus h squared, which is all over h. Almost done here. We can distribute this negative, and you can see here we get 4 minus 4, so this is going to cancel out. Now these are not, but we're in a good spot now because these have a factor of h in common, so we can take that out. Keep in mind the negative sign also needs to stay there. So we have negative h, we'd be left with 4 plus h, because so we took an h out of this h squared. 4 over 2 plus h squared. And the last thing I'm going to do, instead of dividing by h, I'll just multiply by 1 over h. Reason being, now it's easier to see that these h's cross out. So finally, what we can say here is that we have negative 4 plus h. Over 4 times 2 plus h squared. That's as simplified as we can get it, so this is going to be our final answer. So in solving a difference quotient, all you need to do is make sure that you plug in your values for x correctly, and then it just comes down to algebra and simplifying the fractions. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.